The strawberry is a very suitable plant for the absorption of silica and to help increase the resistance of the leaves and fruits to fungal diseases. Hi everyone, my name is Louis Gauthier. I work for the Fraise de l'Ile d'Orléans since 1985. I started as a bachelor student. Therefore, our interest in research and development is not sudden, especially in strawberries and now raspberries. Our interest in the organic culture and production for us is, first of all, to reduce the application of pesticides to eventually eliminate them if we are capable of doing so and increase the resistance of plants against fungal diseases and in other words um, those are some of the goals that we share. We have a research project with strawberry producers of Ile d'Orléans which has the goal of identifying the strawberry cultivars, the strawberry plants that would have the greatest capacity to absorb silicon in the greatest quantity. In fact, it's known that silicon helps to increase plant resistance to biotic and abiotic stress factors. It's a substance that exists in nature, but which may not necessarily be available to plants. So by providing an external source of silicon in this way, it might be possible to help promote greater ex resistance of plants to stress. My name is Martine Doré. I'm a researcher at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. My work is focused on the study of plant physiology and sheltered crop production. This is the research project we have that involves strawberries and silica. In this greenhouse, we have six varieties of strawberries that are being exposed to two different treatments, either with or without silica. So fertilization that's being used for both treatments in the two cases is acceptable for organic production. And so there's half the plants receiving or not receiving silica along with the other fertilizers acceptable for organic systems. So we're observing and evaluating the plants in terms of powdery mildew because powdery mildew is a plant disease with significant impact uh, for strawberry production, especially for fall season strawberries. Silica used for other plants, such as cucumbers, has been demonstrated to be effective against powdery mildew. The impact of a project like this one is the significant reduction of the application of pesticides, therefore the fungicides, especially for the powdery mildew that attacks the strawberry. It is a disease that we see more and more uh, every year, and the resistance of those fungi to registered fungicides, the systematic application of silica in the production of strawberries will help improving the resistance to diseases. We have a graduate student, Samuel Wallet, who is doing his master's degree based on this research project. He comes out every week to record the evolution of powdery mildew symptoms. He is evaluating also the status of powdery mildew on the plant leaves and the fruits. He is also evaluating the quality of the fruit and how productive the plants are in terms of fruiting. We started the project in July, and the project will conclude when we have the first hard frost, I'd say, around the end of December. We participated in the assembling process of the project, the settling of goals to meet with the constraints that we can be facing in the commercial production, which makes this project particularly suitable and applicable to our enterprise.